Institute have invited us, the, the uh, uh, family, to visit so they can, they can get to meet us. Okay, can we go to the next one? So here he is, this is John Smythe. Um, I've told you about his, uh, his heritage. He was educated at, at Howard University Law School. Again, in that particular era, very, very unusual. So he was very educated. He worked as a, a bank cashier and then went on to be a qualified lawyer. He served um, as a United States consul to Liberia because Liberia then had just got its independence from, um, from uh, the United States. He had a family in Virginia. Nevertheless, he had a <laughs> you, know, you know what's coming there. <laughs> Nevertheless, whilst in Liberia, he had a son. He then duly went over to Sierra Leone, and whilst he was in Sierra Leone, he had his own. So, so, so we, we grew up not quite understanding where this Smythe family in Liberia came from. And now we know where he came from. He then, he then went back to Virginia to be with his family, and, and in recent times we have actually been in contact with members of his, of his family. So that's the history of my, of my father, and it's fair to say he, he didn't know a huge amount of, of this history. Anyway, my father was born in um, June 1915 in Freetown, Sierra Leone. He went to um, grammar school. Um, he, he, he had a, a, a very simple lifestyle. Um, he actually left school between 16 and 17 because he needed to go and work and earn some money. And he joined the Freetown City Council as a sub-inspector of plants and produce for the Agricultural Department. Uh, he volunteered for the British military campaign against um, Hitler's Germany as soon as he could, because like lots of uh, Sierra Union men at the time, they wanted to join the, uh, the war effort and fight for their queen, which at the time was Queen of England. Um, he served in the Sierra Leone Defence Corps and he was promoted to the rank of sergeant in the S SLDC. He then came over to England um, and where he went into a uh, flight training school. Um, out of his camp, and there were about 62 cadets, he was one of four that passed out as an officer. So he was commissioned as a flight lieutenant um, in the Royal Air Force in 1941. Um, this says he served as a, as a pilot navigator, but actually he served as a navigator because what happened was after he got his wings, as a, so he qualified as a pilot, it was just at the time when the RAF realized that they needed to introduce navigators into the, um, into, the, into the bombers. Because at that time, when they were bombing Germany, the statistics show that I think um, one in every 100 bombs dropped fell within five